Hey guys, so today we are talking packing and I know I recently talked not too long ago about how to pack for a four week holiday away which I will link up here but I wanted to give you guys some feedback on things that I wish I hadn't brought with me and the things that actually worked out really well for my holiday as I did have a couple of subscribers ask for it so yeah I hope you guys do enjoy this video. If you want to get an idea for my full packing list I actually shared it on my blog which I will link down below and it details every single item that I was packing in my suitcase with links to everything as well just in case you were looking for anything in particular so that'll be really helpful I guess to have a little peek at if you want to know what other things I brought with me which I also really liked but just either didn't wear all of the time or were things that I actually didn't wear at all which there are a couple of things that didn't get worn at all or only got worn once while I was traveling so I think what I'm going to do is start with all of the things that I really am glad that I took with me and that was super useful and then I'll end with all of the things that didn't really get worn or that I didn't really feel like I needed to have with me in the end. Okay, so I want to start with a dress and this dress is from Karen Walker. I've had it for years. It is backless and it has this sort of halter detail. You can't actually wear a bra with this unless you're wearing something underneath it, but this is overall just one of my favorite pieces in my wardrobe and it is something that I wore so much while we were traveling because I could just throw this on, put on a pair of shoes and walk out the door and I didn't really have to think too much about my outfit because it's a dress which is just an entire outfit in itself essentially just add shoes right so <laughs> I wore this so so much on our holiday it was perfect for all the temperatures while we were in Italy and also were in the US and I did feel like it went with both of our destinations as well uh, one of the th things that I really feel like when you're traveling is that you should kind of pack a little bit to match your destination as well as obviously being practical and packing things that you'll be able to wear and feel comfortable in but yeah, this was just one of those things that I reach for a lot and it's something I reach for a lot here in the summertime too, just as it is so easy and it's just a piece that I know will always work. This next item I actually picked up while we're on holiday and it is this striped t-shirt from Brandy Melville and I ended up wearing this so much and this kind of went to show me that I guess I didn't need to try and pack for all of the circumstances on our holiday because... I feel like most times you go away you will end up purchasing something new. I feel like it's kind of inevitable unless you completely avoid the shops or you go somewhere where there's no shops at all. But I grabbed this and it is such an easy cotton tee. It's striped. It was one of those things that I reached for a lot more than the other t-shirts and things that I had actually brought with me because I just loved the cut of it and I just felt like it went with all of the outfits that I wanted to wear it with. So I reached for this heaps and yeah, it was just a great option to have while we're in the US. And one of the things that I wore it a lot with were these denim shorts from Madewell. I picked these up actually just not too long before we left. And they're still available on the website, I believe. I grabbed them in the 25, so they're kind of the perfect fit. They're not too tight, but they're a little bit loose in the back. And they have these little zip-up pockets which you could pop little things in if you wanted or change and then feel like it's still secure because it is zipped up. But these are just so comfortable and they actually look really cute with this t-shirt. might show you guys in the cutaway if I can. But yeah, um, these were just great to have. I mean, I feel like you need denim shorts when you are traveling to really warm destinations as it is. And these are just a really great blue wash that I feel like they go with most things. And yeah, they aren't too showy or flashy. They're just simple denim cutoffs or not even cutoffs, simple denim shorts that were just so easy to reach for and yeah, that I'm just so glad I had in my suitcase. But I have a couple of accessories and the first one I wanted to mention is this bag. And this is from Ona, I think. Sorry, let me just push this in a little bit. Okay. This is from Ona and this is the, I believe it's called the Capri Tote. It's a leather camera bag. So to look at it, you would not know this is a camera bag, but when you open it up, it actually has little compartments in here where you can put your lenses. And I set it up so that I could lie my camera flat so that it would be easier to pull in and out with my lens on it, which, hold on. This is the lens that I use for shooting. It's a 24 to 70 millimeter, 1.8, I think it is. 
and I would have that on my camera. It's really, really heavy. I think this is about a kilo, as is the camera. So I just wanted to make sure that it was really nice and safe and secure and wouldn't get damaged. And this bag was absolutely perfect for it. It was a great carry-on too because it's got a slot in here where you can put your laptop as well. And I just found that everything fit in there comfortably. I'm not a fan of the leather. It actually looks synthetic if you ask me. I think it's kind of atrocious for the pr I mean the price is ridiculous but I'm <laughs> saying that it just turned out to be the best camera bag and I used it every single day basically that I had my SLR with me so it was a really good investment for holidays and I have used it a bit as well going to and from work just as I like the fact that I can split all my belongings up quite easily in here but I probably am going to save this one more for when we go traveling again. Then I just wanted to quickly talk through the shoes that I wore heaps and I think you guys are going to be really surprised. So the first pair were actually my Charlotte Olympia Kitty Flats and I decided to take these with me. I've had these for four years. I think I've worn them over 500 times. I've just worn them so much. They are getting to the point now where the velvet is actually wearing off the toe so I'm going to have to invest in a new pair. I mean I've stretched them out. I just thought that they would be a great shoe to take with me on our holiday and they are one of the most comfortable pairs of shoes that I own. I've wore these so, so much. I'm so glad I took them with me. They're just a really simple flat but they dress up a plain outfit and I think that's why I reach for them so often but I did have a second pair of shoes that I wore a lot and they were from ASOS. They're called the Tropic Sandal I think and they're kind of like a mule sandal they slip on with a little heel and these were really comfortable they are synthetic they're not leather but I really liked the contrasting nude and then tan and then also just the more chestnut colored heel and I just thought that these were a great summer piece they went with most of what I brought with me and they were just really comfortable and easy to throw on so yeah, they were a great shoe to have with me. Now on the opposite end of the scale, I want to talk about a few things that I didn't wear or that I didn't really feel like I needed to pack. And the first thing I want to talk about is something I didn't wear at all and that was my acne linen t-shirt. Now I took this with me because I love acne's linen, it's super comfortable and I thought that I would wear this as just an easy go-to t-shirt with a lot of my outfits. In actual fact, I had taken my Brandy Melville linen t-shirts with me and I also had from Everlane, I think it's in the bedroom, um, my grey linen tank. And I ended up wearing the linen tank and the Brandy Melville linen tees instead of this. So I feel like this is just one of those things that I could have left at home. I just had too many alternatives and I really should have just picked one or the other. Would have made things a lot simpler and what I found was that while we were traveling it was just so hot the Brandy Melville ones are slightly lighter they're not as good quality by any means but they're just so much lighter and just easier to throw on and they're a bit sheer so I feel like you got a very different look so I could wear a cute little bralette underneath and it would sort of show through it a little bit and I kind of liked that for when we're in the US I just thought it was the right kind of vibe so this unfortunately did not get worn at all and yeah I could have probably done with the extra space in my suitcase so the other items that I didn't wear at all were from Eveline and they were both silk pieces and honestly I should have known better than to bring silk with me as I was packing them I thought to myself I'm going to need to iron these when I get to my destination we didn't have an iron I don't think it any of the places we stayed at in Italy, we had to request one in Florence. Uh, they just don't seem to come with your room for some reason. Uh, but when we got to the US, I just I couldn't be bothered. It just seemed like a bit of a faff to go through and do that before heading out. And I really just wanted to make the most of our time there. But so the pieces I took with me were a cami and I took a black one, not actually the navy blue one, but just so you get the idea. And then I also took a black silk tank. Neither of them got worn at all, even though they both would have worked really well with my outfits. So yeah, it was just a shame, but it was the fabric that really did it for me. I just didn't really want to go through the hassle of having to iron them before I wore them. So yeah, unfortunately, I didn't wear any of the silk bits that I took with me. Then I just wanted to share one dress that I probably could have left at home because it's quite a heavy one and this one's from ASOS and I really really love this dress don't get me wrong it's a little bit backless which I think is really cute and then just has sort of a sheer lace 
bottom. I think I probably just took a few too many dresses with me. I have another dress from ASOS that I brought with me that has a cutout detail at the back, crisscross kind of cutout detail, and I ended up wearing that a lot instead of this. This is a lot heavier. The other one was more lightweight. I pulled this out once when we were in San Fran. Well, we were actually in Napa Valley going out for dinner, but I could have worn any of the other dresses I'd taken with me, and as I said, this is such a heavy piece. It was just probably not worth taking with me. I probably would have been better off yeah, leaving this one at home and just wearing the other dresses that I had with me because as I said, only wore it once so yeah it was unfortunate but I do look forward to wearing this one in the summertime here. So I just also want to go through the accessories that I probably could have done without and if you guys have looked at my packing list you'll probably be thinking that I took far too many shoes and I completely did. I probably could have done with half of the shoes that I took with me if I'm being completely honest with myself but I wanted to have options but the shoes that I didn't really wear that often I think will surprise you. So I took with me these leather bow sandals. They wrap around the ankle. These are from ASOS. Um, and if they still have them on the website, I will link them down below because they're super cute and super comfortable. I wore these once. And the day that I wore them was probably going to be one of the most surprising days. It was when we were hiking from Monterosso to Venazza in the Cinque Terre in Italy. So I wore these hiking instead of sneakers. I did have sneakers with me, but I found that the hike wasn't actually as bad as I was expecting it to be. So these were fine. They got a bit dusty. I had to give them a bit of a clean when we got back to the Airbnb in the evening. But yeah, that was the only time that I wore these. I actually just ended up wearing the other slip-on sandals or my kitty flats every single day and didn't really reach for these at all, even though they would have worked and they would have been just as comfortable so yeah they just ended up very sadly being left in my suitcase being unworn so that was a shame I probably I think if I just made more of an effort to wear these but it was just more that I gotten into the rhythm of wearing those other two pairs of shoes so often that yeah these just didn't come out at all then speaking of sneakers I took my Nike brush runs and I didn't wear these once except for when I was on the plane so these were more of, yeah, my travel shoes, I guess, and I thought I'd be wearing them for walking around. I thought we might be going to Sausalito on the Muir Woods when we were in San Fran, but we didn't end up having time to do that, so yeah, we just didn't wear these. I did, did actually go running a couple of times when we were staying in Walnut Creek, which was amazing, and I'm so glad I did. And I wore these for that. But yeah, I'm just not the type of person who wears sneakers every single day to wander around a city. That's just never been me. And I've never really been the type of person to put on Converse either. So I'm much more of like a kitty flats girl. So yeah, unfortunately these didn't really get worn at all. Um, I'm probably the exception to the rule, I would say. But I do love these otherwise. And I, as I've mentioned in um, many videos, I wear these pretty much every single day. Then the last item I wanted to mention was a bag and I decided to take a really nice bag with me. It's from Lulu Guinness and it is this box clutch here with the lipstick on the top which helps to open it up. And it's got a little strap as well which is really handy so you can wear it as a shoulder bag. Uh, I brought this with me to wear to Sam and Elise's wedding and if you watch my Italy vlog then you'll know that on the morning of the wedding I woke up and I'd been bitten by a mosquito on my eye. I'm allergic to mosquitoes. My entire eye got completely swollen up. I had to put on so much makeup to try and cover it and I decided that I wanted to bring sunglasses with me in case it got worse over the day which are obviously not going to fit into this. So instead of taking this to the wedding, I ended up taking this bag here from Teddy Blake because this also fit my camera in it and it fit sunglasses, it fit everything that I needed and I could also pop Luke's inhaler in here too. So it just made it a lot easier to take this bag with me and it went with my outfit because I was wearing a black dress so I didn't really have too much to worry about. But I kind of thought it would be nice to have a evening bag with me while I was away for when we went out for dinner or things like that just because I could just bring the bare essentials with me and the bag is really cute, right? But I ended up just wearing this bag when we went out or this chain bag that I picked up when we were in Florence because they were both, I feel like, quite good alternatives and they both made an outfit look really nice and smart and this just felt a little bit over the top in the end so I probably could have just left this one at home and yeah 
Again, another thing that I could have pulled out of my suitcase, but I do think it's nice to have some sort of evening bag that you can take out with you. So yeah, those were the things that I wore a lot and things that I didn't really wear that much while I was traveling. I hope that this was really interesting for you guys. Uh, particularly if you have a holiday coming up. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. Give this video a like if you did enjoy it, and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.